good day everybody. In association with IRA Foundations and your school, we MAR have brought a program for all of you students today. You people might now be wondering what is this program all about. Today we are here to talk to you people about career guidance. A few students who are already present here might be aware of what career guidance is and few might not even be aware of what it is. Now let us understand what this career guidance means. A career is a profession that a person or an individual does for a longer period of time. That is, for example, if you go into school and you will be studying for 16 years of your age or you might study up to 20 years of age, but you will be working in a profession or in your career for 30 to 35 years of age. Correct? So, 20 to 22 years of studies is lesser when compared to 30 to 35 years of working profession. So, career is something which is done for a longer period of time. Like most of you are aware of what guidance is, yes, guidance is direction, knowing which way to go in order to reach your goal career or the dream career. So, here in this program, we career counselors will assist all of the individuals here to make your informed career choices, which also will help you reach your dream destination of career. Here, I want to make it clear that we as career counselors will show you multiple direction for you to reach your desired goal. It's not an ultimate decision. It's you people who will choose the right direction for you in order to reach your dream destination or the dream job. Today, we have brought a test to all of you. No, you need not worry about the test being difficult or anything. This test consists of four parts, out of which the first part speaks about your interest. Interest test basically talks to you people about whatever you enjoy doing. Basically, how you help yourself dealing with your curiosity, how do you or what do you do when you are enthusiast, what are the activities which you people find pleasurable and what are the ones which you feel satisfied after doing. This test assesses your likings and dislikings along with the indifferences. What are you influenced by another person? What are you attended to and what are your likings is what we get to know with this test. The second part of the test is aptitude. Aptitude is your capabilities or your talents. We also call it the skill set. It is your innate ability or strength to solve any particular problem. This ability can be physical or mental in nature. This aptitude test basically measures which skill you are naturally good at without getting influenced by any people. The third part of the test is personality test. Personality is nothing but your characteristics, your individual differences. So, this test basically helps you understand the pattern of your feelings, the way you behave, the way you think and the rest of the things. The last part that is the fourth part of the test is your academic performance. Here we have amalgamated all the questions from different grades and have given you under four sections which are science, maths, English and social science. Now, you might be overwhelmed about the test. Let me tell you, there is nothing to be worried about. This is an online test having four sections, which is only talking to you people about your best fit 
career matches. We assess you based on multiple parameters, based on interest, aptitude, subject performance, etc. The beauty of this career assessment is that there are no right or wrong answers. There are just answers which will be syncing the best with you people. So you need not worry. We are not giving you marks or we are not even comparing you with any other student and telling you are better than them or they are better than you. It is just that this test assesses the best suited subject for you and the best suited aptitude which you are really good at without any prior preparation. Now let's understand how the test looks like on the tab. There will be a tab provided to you the minute you enter the classrooms. You are requested to take a paper and a pen along with you. The invigilators in your respective classrooms will give you the roll numbers which you will have to write it down on the sheet of the paper. Once you go and sit down in your designated place, you will be seeing this tell me about yourself page on your tab. You will have to enter your details like name, date of birth, age, your board of education which can be CBSE, ICSE or state board, your class, 8th grade, 9th grade, 10th grade, your division, whichever division you belong to, coming to the next part which is your roll number. Here you will enter whatever the invigilator had given you and you had noted down on the sheet of your paper. So you will enter that roll number and enter your father's mobile number. With this, you will show to the invigilator the details entered by you. You will also cross verify because the details entered here are the details which will be displayed on your report. Once you are sure and the invigilator has also cross verified the details you have entered, you can click on the submit button. Once you click on the submit button, the tab takes you to a instruction sheet. You will find the instructions which I am telling you now on that instruction sheet. You can go through the instructions and click on start the test button. The minute you click on the submit button, you will get a login ID and the password which you are required to note down. Once you note it down, if at all you are logging out, in between the test, accidentally, you can use the same login ID and password to re-login. Once you go through the instructions, you can click on start the test button to start your test. The interest test will look something like this. Here, the questions basically talk to you people about your likings and dislikings. For each and every questions, you have five options. You can go through the questions which are simple to understand. Like for example, researching about the crops and finding out the best way to increase production. Is this the field you are interested in? If yes, you mark like very much. If you feel that you are liking this profession but you don't want to take it as a profession, but you can consider that, you will mark like. If you are not sure about this particular profession, you will mark not sure. If you do not like the profession, you mark dislike. If you are absolutely sure you will not get into this profession at all, then you mark dislike very much. Like this, you have 84 questions to answer in this field which is compulsory. Since the question does not carry right or wrong responses, you will have to answer all the 84 questions to move on to the next section. After you complete all the 84 questions, you get the highlighted button in blue color which is submit. You can move on to the next section. You will also get a gap of one minute which will allow you to take a minute's break before you move on to the next section. The next section is aptitude test. Aptitude is nothing but your skill set like we already spoke about. 
In this aptitude test, you have six sections, out of which the first section is your verbal ability. Verbal ability test is something which will measure of your verbal ability. Verbal ability test measures your ability to use English as a medium of language fluently and effortlessly. Basically, here we are trying and understanding how good you are with your vocabulary in order to solve any particular problem you face day to day. The second aptitude test is your numerical ability. Here, we are trying and measuring how good you are with numbers in order to solve your problem. The third is your spatial reasoning. This test measures your ability to solve the particular problem by thinking about the space concept relationships. The fourth test is abstract reasoning. Abstract reasoning has two sets of questions. The two sets of questions are divided into 10 questions each. The first 10 questions will be talking to you people about the connection of the previous problem. Here you will solve the problems based on how the previous problem were. The second set of 10 questions will basically be helping you understand the connection between the problem and the solution. In the second section, you will have to find the similarities. Coming to the next section, which is speed and accuracy. Here, you will have to answer 25 questions in 45 seconds. Now, don't worry about whether you will be able to answer it or not. It is just that the questions are like this you will have to figure out which symbol is similar to the one which is shown on the right hand side and mark whether the option is A or B or C. Can't you do this really quick? Yes, you can. While you're doing that, the options here also will shuffle. Be sure you're accurate while picking your right option. To the second part of speed and accuracy, you have 45 seconds to answer an other set of 25 questions which will look like this. These are the number sets. You will have to match the numbers and tell whether they are similar or different. Like the previous test, in this test as well, the same and different options will be shuffled. So please be accurate while you are answering this section. The last section of the aptitude test is mechanical reasoning and we have 20 questions to answer here. This, in this section we find a lot of questions related to physical principles which you will be using to solve your problems every day. The section of this aptitude test contains 20 questions other than speed and accuracy and you will be given two practice problems before the beginning of each aptitude test. This is a timed test. This section contains right or wrong responses. Please do mark the answers whose logic you understand or can deduce the logic of. If you don't understand the logic, kindly do not guess or copy the answers from anybody else. Because we are trying to measure which skill you are good at. After the completion of this section, you will again be given one minute of a break to move on to the next section, which is personality. The questions in the personality test looks like this. Here, you will have to select the characteristics which are most like you. That means the characteristics which describes you the most. Or you will have to select the characteristics which are least like you. That means you will be selecting the characteristics which doesn't describe you. Here in this test you have 8 questions with 10 options each. 
you will have to select more than one option or more than one characteristic for each question for yourself. If you do not select more than one option for yourself, you will be getting your personality factor as invalid in your reports. So kindly do not miss to select more than one option per question in this section. Since there are no right or wrong responses here, all the eight questions are to be answered compulsorily. You will be getting a minute's break after the personality test. Then we move on to the last part of the test which is your subject test. In the subject test you have four sectors that is science, maths, English and social science. Each test consists of 30 questions and you will be given 20 minutes to answer each test related from different grades of your schooling. The screen of the test will look like this. You will have the instructions and the questions which will be displayed. The timer will be displayed on the left hand bottom corner that is while you are viewing the tab it is right hand bottom corner of the screen. The number of questions you are supposed to answer is displayed at the bottom of the screen and how many questions you have answered is shown on the left side of the screen. The minute you answer any question, the left bar will be highlighted in green. The number of the question which you have answered will be highlighted in green. Once you finish all the criteria of answering the question, the blue color button which is at the bottom will get highlighted which you will have to click to move on to the next section. Once you complete answering all the questions, you will be seeing a logout screen. This logout screen will look like this. Once you reach the screen, please show the screen to the invigilator and once they allow you to submit the test, you can click on the logout button and log out from your test. After the test, you will be given a 20 page report which will show your analysis for the each of the four sections which you have answered and then the report also will show you the top three careers that would suit you the best out of the given career clusters based on your interest, aptitude and subject performance. Thank you.